I see you anywhere you like. Thank you. I'm Detective Cross. So I'm going to be back in just a few minutes and talk to you. I just got to step out and okay. talk to my partner for a couple hours. That's fine. Thank I'm Detective Hemphill. I'll be in the room too. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You okay? Do you need anything? No, I'm, I'm perfect. Thank you very much. Like I said, I'm Detective Frost. Uh, I didn't get your name, your first name. I go by Bob. Okay. But it's James Robert. All right. I'm very concerned about my wife and my children right now. Okay. I have two kids in college, and <sighs> it's, right. it's a freaking nightmare, but we probably need to go ahead and get the lawyer in there. Okay. All right. Um, so, and just, God, what a nightmare, but yeah, it's... I don't know what happened. No, I know, so. but we need to bring the lawyer in here. Right. So, before we do anything, but I'm really concerned about my wife, my kids right now. I'm just... Are you, uh, you, do you have any young children or anything? There no, one's in South, University of South Carolina, one's in GW, and we're all very, very close. Okay, no one's in the house, though, that we need to... No, nobody's in the house, no, just... The, the the dogs the four dogs and mm -hmm. please be sure they're taken care of. Yeah. Okay. But I think, I we think need to get to care of that. Yeah, but we just need to get a lawyer in here. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we'll, we'll take care of that. Go you ahead, understand? Go ahead. I can't talk to you. I oh, know. All right. Your wife is deceased. At this time, we're preparing a search warrant to search your house. Okay, and uh, do you have an attorney that you can? Yeah, call I'm a real estate developer, and we have everybody on rear end right now. Mm -hmm. And my bankruptcy attorney is Elizabeth Green, and she has, has changed the firm. She's now at Baker Hostetler, and she was with uh, Latham Shuker, whoever. Mm -hmm. Her cell phone number is on my Blackberry. Where's your Blackberry? It was in the driveway when the officer said put it down. That's who I called you on. I called you on Blackberry. It's in the driveway. Okay. So I don't have the cell phone number, but it's in the Blackberry. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'd like to have her be notified. All right. If she can come up here tonight, do you want to do it tonight? Please, would you? Okay. Yeah, but it's on the Blackberry, so it's I left it in the driveway. I asked right. him, and they said put it down. Right. Um, Elizabeth Green, maybe it's in the, you know, in the normal white pages, I don't know. Do you, what's the firm that she's in? Well, she left Latham, Shuker, whatever, on Friday, and now she's with Baker Hostetler. Um, but they wouldn't have, well, point is it's after hours, mm -hmm. but on my Blackberry is her cell phone number. Okay, all right. Do we have your permission to look at the yes, you do. To yeah. the cell phone? Yes, you do. It's Elizabeth Green that's on there. If you please call her, that'd be great. Oh, God. 
Are you injured or anything? No, I had a big surgery two weeks ago. That's why I'm limping right now. Okay, so you're okay now? And yeah, I'm fine. You're waiting for a while? No, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay. okay, we'll see um, what, we can, uh, what we can do. Thank you. Yes. They're trying to get your phone, and they're going to pull that out and everything. Um, what we'd like to do is certain things we collect immediately, which would be like the gunshot residue on your right. hands. Okay. Excuse um, me. Do you mind if we went ahead and did that? Now? I'd rather wait. You don't have much choice in that. Okay. My okay. choice is fine. Yeah. Because it's so easily right. lost. As long it's as I don't have any choice. But I don't have any choice. Okay. That's one of the ones that we get to do. I watch a lot of Miami CSIs. Okay. <laughs> I know the it all works that way. I'm sure. Have we done that? I guess that's it. You got it. Um, so you need him on handcuff? Yes. Okay, I know it's an old key, but they should still fit. <laughs> it might be time for a new handcuff key. This one's Look at this. There you go. Yeah. This one's probably 25 years old. <laughs> but it's you working out. Have they changed handcuffs since then? No. Oh, okay. Maybe not. There you go. <clears throat> I think these are just. Some of that gave me a hard time. Oop. Uh oh, you made it worse. It's okay. Cooperate, does it? No, hang on a second. Your last name, sir? W A R D Ward. And your first name? Yes. James. And my key's older than anything. That worked great, thank you. And your birthday? Is 3 24 1948. Are you left or right handed? A right handed. Can you just hold your hands out like this so I yep. can see both sides and flip, please? Yep. Thank you. Have you um, washed your hands this evening? I have not. <clears throat> your occupation? Um, real estate developer. Lucky enough to be almost retired or retired already. Lucky enough to have everybody on your rear end because of the banks. Yeah, <laughs> right. mm. 48. Mm. Are you left or right? <laughs> Oh, the big keys? Yeah. The big keys don't fit mine. Your last name, sir? W A R D Ward. And your first name? Is James. And my key's older than anything. That worked great, thank you. Your birthday? Is 3 24 1948. Are you left or right handed? A right handed. Can you just hold your hands out like this so I yep. can see both sides and flip, please? Yep. Thank you. Have you um, washed your hands this evening? I have not. <clears throat> your occupation? Um, real estate developer. 
Lucky enough to be almost retired or retired already. Lucky enough to have everybody on your rear end because of the banks. Yeah, <laughs> right. mm. uh, let's see. a while ago and I couldn't find them because they're all gone. chance to get any water? Sure. What do you have time? Sure. Thank you very much. Alright. Just one identification photograph so I can see yep. you are T. My hands or just me? Just you. <laughs>
on the cell phone uh -huh. is my sister-in-law. They're bringing the cell phone here so he can make the call with right. it. Yeah, well, what I want to do is call my sister-in-law because she needs to talk. I'm sorry. She needs to do damage control with the kids. And she's in St. Mary's, Georgia. Okay. So if you want to call her, it's okay. It's Paula Seri. They're going to bring the phone up to you so you can call your attorney first. And Thank then you. we can do it there. And that way it's then you're doing it rather Any than Any reading glasses anybody has. Sure. <laughs> Thank, I have, I have, Thank you so much. Thank you. I have my pair. Thank you. I, have, I have a folding pair, but I think they took them. Thank you. Oh, I'm, you have his glasses, right? Well, they're, it's a folding pair. Yeah, we have them right here. Thank, Thank you. you. Those are mine. Oh. Those are mine. Do you want me to take notes? I can read at some point. Right? Thank you. I'm a, do you have any objections? To the no, no, just sitting here is fine. I don't have a problem. Thank you. This is glasses. This is glasses. Let's just use these. Okay. okay. Yeah, those are the ones. Yeah. yeah, those are the ones. Yeah, these are all big. Which, these? Those will work, too. I don't know where those came from. No, no just sit in here. It's fine. I don't have a problem. Thank you. This is glasses. This is glasses. Okay. Yeah, those are the ones. Which, these? Those will work, too. I don't know where those came from, but those look like they should work. Yeah, thank you. Go ahead and look at those and see. Are these the ones you're looking for? Yeah, those are the ones. Yeah, these are all bent, so I don't know where these came from. Let's, let's just use these. Okay, I'll put this back in the bag. Thank you. Yeah, these are work. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Time. So as soon as it gets here, it's on call or Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. They're little. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. If you need more, if you want a soda or anything, just let me know. Okay. Is a cell phone coming in a few minutes on call or what? It's got to come from where we came from. Well, so what, yeah, whatever you want to do. Drive time. So as soon as it gets here, we will definitely let you know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. This is, uh, if you want to take it out. Okay, thank you. Oh, good. Hopefully it's got some power in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're still up. we got two bars. Okay. So you're going to call Elizabeth Green? Yeah, well, was, let me ask you this. I'm able to help here. It's just an answer. Um, I've got two children. They're in college, different schools. And my sister-in-law is in St. Mary's, Georgia. And I'm thinking about just, how many calls can I get, one or two? I, I, mean, you, I, mean, you, I mean, I mean, all I want to do is, I'm concerned with the kids right now. I'm not worried right. about me. Mm -hmm. I mean, and so what I want to do is, tomorrow, I mean, somehow I've got to do damage control with the children. Right. That's the most important thing right here. Yeah. So this, well, this lawyer is going to find somebody else, a criminal lawyer, that can come and take care of me. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about the kids right now. Yeah. So, but I'm thinking I should call her. If I don't get her, then I just go ahead and call somebody else. Is that okay? And you can listen to the conversation. No problem with it. Yeah, that, that, I don't have a problem with that. Well, the thing is, though, I mean, I don't know what happened here. I'm still trying to no, I investigate and try to figure out what My wife did. So. Listen, listen. <sighs> Why don't you call your lawyer, yeah. see what she says, and then we'll go. Maybe she'll come down tonight and talk mm -hmm. with us. Maybe well, I, she she'll probably wanna... bring somebody else tomorrow in the morning. That's but. Yeah, well, just I'm worried there. right now about the kids. I'm, I'm worried about me. I mean, okay. God, I'm go ahead and try to call her. Call her, and then we can work on you know, or, calling or, the kids. But if you want to sit down, it's fine because I got nothing to hide. What what uh what number do you have for her? Um, I'm gonna call her cell right now, and it's Elizabeth Green. Hang on a second. I got 
cell number here that is 407 928 5105. And she just started tomorrow, this is tomorrow Monday, right? Actually, it's today now. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm sorry. Uh, with, she's now with uh, Baker Hosteller. Okay, let me just call her mobile and see what we sure. get, if we get anything on here right now. It's amazing how your Blackberry is coming. <laughs> Can't look what happened. Uh, It's okay. I'm not sure she's going to answer. Hi, this is Liz. I'm going to dial her time to see if she picks up. I'm sure she's trying to sleep. question um, if I can't get her I'm gonna call my brother-in-law and I'm just gonna tell him what's where I am and who should he contact in the morning he can yeah. uh, I'll, I'll give you my cell phone number yeah let me just I'll put him a speaker in a second because he'll probably answer Step out. I'll give you my uh, my call. Well, I need to call Liz and just and just leave her. I don't mind you hearing this. Believe me, let me just call Liz again one more time with a message. I'm trying to get on the speaker. What's the speaker here? The speaker is this and that. And wrong key. All right. I'm just going to step out and discuss something. We'll talk real quick. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Go to my, okay. You okay. And okay. okay. But the deal is, if I I just leave a message and have her call you. In the morning, is that fun? Or who should she call? Get, get some, you know, this is like my third time calling her. Who should she, I mean, who should she call in the morning? You can have a call me. Okay, and my brother-in-law should also in the morning call you. You can have him call me. Yeah. Okay. What, what is that phone number? For my you right my phone number? Yeah. My phone number is area code 404. And what is your brother-in-law's name? Glenn, L E N N, Sari. Oh. Yeah, how do you spell that last name again? It's your brother or brother in law? Brother in law. Okay, his, hang on one second. The home is 9 1. He no, he's married to my wife's sister. Okay. It's my brother in law. So I'd rather we talk to him first before we talk to Diane's sister. Yeah. Now, just give me a second, I'll try to get him back on the phone, but for some reason is it alternate? Damn reading glasses. Oh, 
Let me speak to Glenn, please. Who is this? It's Bob, your brother-in-law. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Hello? Glenn, it's Bob. Can you walk outside the room somewhere, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Listen, I'm in a room right now in Orange County, and I'm speaking to Brian Cross, nice gentleman. He's a detective with the Orange County Sheriff's, Sheriff's Office, another lady. I don't have her name, but I'm sorry. It's Susan Hempfield. Thank you, Susan. Uh, Diane's dead. Oh, no. And um, it's not real pretty right now, and... Nobody knows about it but you. And I'm trying to get an attorney on the phone. It's one. It's 12:30 in the morning, and I'm worried right now about our kids. And okay. so uh, Brian Cross has been very kind right now, and he he will give you, or actually, I'll give you his number in the morning to contact. But I'm sure that I'll be here for a little bit. And I just, you know, I don't know what what to do about Mallory and Sarah. So there's no way they can reach me, but somehow um, in the morning we have to figure out how to handle them because we're so close to those two kids and they call us three or four times a day. Yeah. So that's my concern right now is, you know, you know, Mallory's up at George Washington up in D.C. And by the way, if you have any ideas that help me with this, please, please kind of, kind of step in. These folks are very nice, but, um, you know, I don't know what to do right now other than I can't get my attorney on the phone. You have your own issues, um, you know, believe me, but I'm sorry that... They, go ahead. They go to the back seat. Yeah, but right now we got Mallory and Sarah, and um, I don't really know exactly how to handle them right now. And... Um, I think that Paula has their cell phone numbers, but detectives, what would, what's your advice right now? I mean, can you give me any advice on how to handle these two children? Uh, uh, see what you're uh, going to ask is, uh, well, why, how did it happen? Well, that's another story, but right now their mother's dead. Yeah. Okay. And and Mallory is 21 and Sarah is 18. Sarah has just started at the University of South Carolina. She took a year off and she rides horses. She's a top, was a top junior rider in the country, is now yeah. a top amateur in the country. I'm just telling this to the detectives. And, and Mallory is uh, a graduating senior this year at GW. Uh, the family has been very, very close. So, God, I just don't know what to do right now. I mean, what do you do in a situation like this? Other than call your brother-in-law and say, Jesus, good yeah. almighty, Glenn. Uh, but in the morning, you know, I'll, we'll try to get a hold of an attorney here for me. I'm not concerned about that right now. I'm more worried about my kids. Yeah. And, and maybe we don't do anything, obviously, right now at this hour of the evening. Um but in the morning, somehow these kids will have to be brought into it because they'll be calling me or their mother and they can't get a hold of us. Yeah. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. And um, did I give you Brian's phone number? My cell phone's on the back. No, you didn't. 
Okay. Can you write it down? Yeah, Brian Cross. Yeah. It's area code 407. Okay. 468. Uh huh. 0739. And the other person I'll probably call right now is my assistant, Beth, who you know. Yeah. And she may not answer, but it's 404 895. Eight, I believe. Uh, but you can call. Um, God, who else can I? Hang on a second. Let me just see if I can pull a number up real quick for you. You there? Yes, sir. You guys okay with this? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, I'm just going to step out. Okay, go ahead. Let me just switch applications real quick here. You there? Yes, sir. Messenger, home screen. Hell, I can't pull this up a bitch up. Just me see find find it somewhere else. Eight nine five four eight three. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll yeah. Four zero four eight nine five four eight three four, and I'll call her in a minute and let her know, but. Um, I think what you've got to do is um, talk to Paula. Mm-hmm. Let her know that her sister is dead. And that, um, oh God, I don't think I'll tell her that or not right now. And, you know, but the main thing is uh, I don't think anything needs to be done as far as the kids until in the morning. Yeah, let's just let's just wait until the morning. Oh. Go ahead. Well, uh, is is there anything that you can say uh, about how it happened or, or yeah what? yeah yeah? Hang on a second. Let me just call you back. Let me get a speakerphone up. Thing right now, but it's. I never thought this would happen, but it did. 
All right, let me talk to you tomorrow. Bye. It's Bob. It's about um, 12.30 in the morning. Diane is dead. And it's a long story, but she's dead. Uh, try to get a hold of Glenn in the morning and Liz Green. I can't get her right now, but that's we have to decide how to handle the kids right now. But obviously, I'm in the popo, and that's a problem. But uh, let's in the morning please try to talk to Glenn I just called him he understands what's going on and then get a little less green as soon as you can thank you Hey, it's Bob again. I'm in the Orange County Sheriff's lockup, and um, Diane is dead. That's just a wonderful thing to hear, isn't it? And uh, the detective here is Brian Cross, and his cell phone number is 407-468-0739. So in the morning, please call him, get a criminal lawyer down here, and let's get to work on this. Thank you. Bye.
Um, get a hold of go a quarter to one. Beth, hey, it's Bob. It's about 12.30, a quarter to one. Listen, Diane is dead. It's been a bad accident, and she's dead. In the morning, um, get a hold of Glenn and Paula, please, and coordinate with them and call Liz Green. I can't get anybody on the phone right now. Uh, we just got to figure out how to handle the kids, okay? Uh, in the meantime, I'm locked up in Orange County lockup. And the number here is Brian Cross, is a detective, and it's 407-468-0739. Thank you. Talk to you later. Well, this one will be so. I'm just send a couple. Come on in. I can't reach anybody, so I'm just send a couple emails. That's fine. You can keep trying. Yeah. Um, you want some more water? I would love a little more water. Can I go to the bathroom? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, God. You okay? Oh, Which. Yeah. Did you have knee surgery? Well, this one about three weeks ago, and it's like a little arthroscopic, and it's still kind of. It looks good for arthroscopic. Some time or two? Yeah. Okay. Just. Okay. You remain here. What's going to happen now is <clears throat> we're preparing to search warrant to search the residence. Sure. All right. I'm just signing a judge. I'm going to go down there and I'm just going to ask that you remain here um, while we continue with the investigation. Detective Hemfield will, will stay. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, I'm not going to ask you anything about what happened tonight. Uh, like you said, you want your attorney present before any question. I understand that. What I'd like to do is just get some background information. It has nothing to do with tonight. Just I got all your name and information like that. Is, is that all right? Sure. Just um, is this a wine on the back of my shirt or is that blood? I don't know. I I just saw it in the mirror. What is that? It does not look like blood at all. <laughs> I don't know where the heck that came from. Yeah, it's like juice maybe. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I was in the bathroom. What in the heck <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a real estate developer under attack by about a hundred million people right now. Yeah. Right. And you live at 5277 Isleworth? Yeah, that's right. right. How long have you been living there? I want to say almost four years. Three years anyway, I know for sure. I not exactly sure, but around three years. Okay. And you, you mentioned your children, Mallory and Sat. And yeah, Sarah. Mallory is uh, 21, right. and she is at the University of. Uh, I'm sorry, she's sex. She's at uh, George Washington in right. D.C. And Sarah is 18, and she just started at uh, South Carolina. Okay. And Diane's sister's name is Paula. Sari, S-W-A-R-E, and she's really the contact, but I called her husband first tonight. Okay. And Paula answered, but I got Glenn on the phone and asked him to call you in the morning. Okay. All right. Yeah. But you want her number? Diane's? Uh, no. No. Paula, the uh, sister-in-law. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. want her number? Yes. Yeah. Her cell phone is 40, I'm sorry, uh, 904. Four seven seven eleven thirty four. But we we'll just check that and be sure that's right. Because these kids, we got to figure this one out. Yeah. Yeah. Paula's cell was yeah. 904-477-1144. 1144. 1144. And the home is uh, 
912-882-1326. Where is that at? That's in St. Mary's, Georgia. It's right up over the border from Jacksonville. Okay. And um, go ahead. Tempe just won 10 12. Yeah, and her husband's name is Glenn, G L E N N. And that's who I was talking to, and that's who you really need to talk to first. Okay. And the same home number, but the mobile is uh, 904. If he's at home there in St. Mary's, it's an AT&T phone. The signal's not very good. So, okay, all right. You need the kid's information or not? Uh, um, same last name as yours, Ward. Uh, yes. Okay. My assistant though has everything you might need, and I try to get her tonight. If you need anything from her, I'll be glad to give it to you. Okay. What is her name? Just Beth. Calls. Beth. Nowlin. N O W L I N. Check that and be sure I got it right. Yeah, eight nine nine four eight. Tonight. Okay. And I don't expect anything in the morning. I gave her your contact information. Okay. And she'll find the criminal guy to bring in. Okay. All right. And um, I don't know who else to to call at this point. Okay, well, we'll just take it from there. Um, okay. Anything else you need? Yep, I think that's about it. Uh, sit tight for a while. Sit tight for a while and uh, we'll see where we go from here. Okay, thank All right. you. All right. Listen, by the way, my. Anything else? Is there any chance I get my chapstick back? Was it in there? Uh, it, yeah, it was like, yeah, with the thank you, if you can, it'd be great. Christ Almighty, I bet there's something in my throat. Liz, hey, it's Bob again. I'm in the Orange County Jail. Diane is dead. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Jesus Christ Almighty, I bet there's something in my throat. Uh, the detective is um, Brian Cross, and his cell number is 407-468-0739. And... Um, my cell phone's got about another one or two bars, so if you get a chance, if you can call me on this, try that too. Thank you. I just need, a, uh, obviously, a criminal attorney. Thank you.